Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create golf ball using Blender. So open Blender and click on File, New Reload Startup File. You'll get this cube. So first we'll get rid of the cube. So right click on the cube to select it and click X and delete it. We need a polysphere. I'll show you what a normal UV sphere looks like. So click on add mesh and click on UV sphere. Zoom in and go to orthographic view and front view. And here go to wireframe mode. So this is how the UV sphere looks like. When you click on add mesh, you don't find polysphere here. So for that click on file, user preferences and click on the add ons tab. Here select add mesh and where it says add mesh extra objects select it and close this window. Now click on add mesh. Now you will find polysphere here. So select it and this is how the polysphere looks like. So we want this. So just right click on this one and delete it by pressing X or delete. and go to click on solid view now go to edit mode and click alt e and click on individual faces now we'll extrude each individual face so just move your mouse go to object mode click on this button which is for modifiers click on add modifier and subdivision surface here make the view value 2 and now go to edit mode click alt e and click on individual faces it will extrude in all the faces so just extrude it a little bit inside like this and after that press s and just bring it outwards about here and again press alt s and bring them inside now go to object mode now it looks like a golf ball so click on smooth button and click on apply now we'll make a copy of this golf ball. So press shift D and bring it here. Go to front view. Bring both the golf balls just above this red line. And now we'll add a floor. So click, on, click here. And click on add mesh plane. Press S 10 to scale it and we'll give a material to uh, both the balls and the plane so click on this button which is for materials here select cycles render click click new now the plane is selected so for the plane leave the default values just change the color to green about here and a dark green color and save it now select this ball by right clicking on it and click on new here select mix shader for the first shader select diffuse and for the second shader select glossy we'll make this value fac value 0.3 and the roughness value 0.05 name this material white and press F to save it now right click on the second golf ball and click on this plus button and here select white now go to front view and click just behind this camera 
and add will add a plane which will emit light so click on add mesh plane press s3 and r45 so that it is facing uh, here now click on new button and here we'll select emission and make the strength 10 now we'll go to camera view and you can also click on this rendered button so that you can see how it will look like uh, you can decrease this strength make it 8 this looks fine click n select this to log the camera to view click n to get rid of this properties window now we'll just zoom in zoom out and rotate it just the way we want and you can click on solid and just see which way we want to take a picture this looks fine I'll move this around here again go to solid view and zoom in click on this world button and make this color black and now click on this button and increase the sampling value to 100 you can make it 1000 to get better resolution make both the clamp values 0.98 and first save it blender uses dot blend extension select the directory you want to save it in and click on save blender file and now click on render it will take some time to get rendered so I'll get back to you when it is done. So this is how it will look like after rendering. To save this, bring your cursor on this image and press F3. And select the directory you want to save it in. And name it anything you want. Uh, and click on save as image. And also save this blender file so this is how uh, you create golf balls using blender so thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more blender tutorials and also make sure to watch the realistic chain tutorial i'll put a link on the screen and also in the description bar below bye